the best part of waking up when you're vegan is knowing that you're vegan. Look, if you're tired of having too much calcium stored in your body, uh, go ahead and start drinking huge amounts of coffee every morning. Mushroom coffee. Side effects include talking to eggs. If you want to buy a coffee mug with a picture of some fat bitch stuff in her face, go ahead and visit my website. It is 7 in the morning, if any of you guys are interested. <laughs> my name is Roseanne. Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan. So this is the queen of food porn. She does these videos called uh, mukbang. And they're similar to bukkake. And if you don't know what mukbang videos are, it's where a girl savagely stuffs her face with all kinds of objects and swallows them whole. And those aren't wrinkles on her face. They're actually stretch marks from her having to open up her mouth really, really wide to make a living. Can you imagine being married to this woman knowing that she gives blowjobs to noodles? For now, since it's 7 in the morning, I need to drink this. Let this seep into my bloodstream. Yeah, let it seep in into your iron-rich bloodstream. She looks really hung over. And I also need to do some work, so I will catch up with you when I have- Imagine waking up every morning knowing that you have to get skull fucked to make a living. I guess, uh, her and Frank Tafana have a lot in common. Speaking of Frank, him and Bobby's perspective have a lot in common since both talk to mushroom tips. Honestly, would you really take advice from somebody who talks to an egg? You know, I'd rather talk to Frank, even though he has more friends than he does white blood cells. Yes, now I am awake. As you can see, the caffeine has hit my body. Apparently, this little vegan has some big trouble. Not only did the caffeine hit, but she hit the wall as well. Yes, so it is now 8.26 a.m. And I just realized I haven't even washed my face. For someone who has trained gag reflexes, she lacks personality. We can make something happen. We need to go grocery shopping later today. And I'm going to go grocery shopping on the weekend too, to a bigger store. Grocery shopping daily is mandatory when you're a vegan. She wakes up at 7, has her morning cup of coffee. It is now 8.35 and she's barely going to have breakfast. And she hasn't even cooked her breakfast yet. She has to go to the market and buy her breakfast, bring it back home, cook the breakfast, which is going to be uh, 9.30 or 10. Soups and stews, guys, okay? I was also craving, like, noodles, so just Asian food and soups and stews. This is, like, just typical what I always crave. So we all know why she's craving these warm foods. I'm not even going to go there. I mean, there's plenty of other channels that could cover this, that have covered this. What I'm going to bring up, though, is her eyes. If you look deeply into her eyes, you can see the misery and the pain that she's going through. It's like looking at a dog with three legs it's you don't want to see it but it's just hard not to not to look at it morning and also i'm a little bit sick i got sick on my way back from brazil so i'm still like a little bit congested i feel like a soup would be i mean we all know what brazil is known for <laughs> so this is a what i eat in a day video i'm about five minutes in and all she's had was coffee see some udon noodles I'm using the pre-cooked kind, just so it cooks really, really quick. So the reason why she's dressed like a tassel is to hide that fupa, and pretty soon it's going to be curtains for her. Now it is boiling. Let's add in our udon. Okay, so this wicked witch of the east finally got her cauldron started. And fun fact, it's pretty easy to kiss a toad when you look like one. Her standards are so high that it supersedes her hunger. She still has not eaten since 7 a.m. She is too concerned about setting up her camera equipment so that she can record her herself cooking. I'm adding some sesame seeds. Now that is one huge waste of sesame seed. Mm, lots of sesame seeds. And there's my breakfast. Yay! In regards to body composition, this has to be the worst I've seen out of all the vegans. Guys, you know, when they put their hair back in the ponytail, you know you got yourself a keeper. Oh my god, guys. That was so good. She just realized she can't take her consent back. She now has the morning guilt. She knows that what she's doing is wrong. She knows that half a million incels just orgasmed right now. 
you know, I just feel really bad for these beta males that get cucked into giving people like her views, thinking that a comment is going to get them laid. If you're ever on a date with a girl and she gives you this look, you better fucking run. That is called the thousand cock stare, ladies and gentlemen. So now it's time to wash my face. Oh my gosh, how yellow do I look in this lighting? Without her eating disorder, green hair, and makeup, she has no followers. Without her followers, she is nothing. The hair dye is going to thin out her hair and pretty soon she's going to have to start wearing extensions or a wig. The makeup that she wears is going to dry her face out and make her look older. And pretty soon she won't ever be on camera or leave the house without her costume on. When this happens, then she'll decide to settle down with a beta male cuck. Because at the end of the day, all she's good at is putting stuff in her mouth. Just think about it. What skills th does she have? What does she have to offer her audience? Why do people watch her eat food? Maybe because I haven't vlogged like this for a while. I don't know. All right. I already just filmed an intro to a video. She has very, very low self-esteem. Uh, she doesn't have a real job because she's afraid of competition. She doesn't want to be around other uh, females that she deems... Uh, more attractive than her. She doesn't want to be left out. This is why she uses YouTube as a filter to garner attention to boost her ego. Without this attention, she has nothing. And women like her are more prone to getting with beta males because they want a man that doesn't have any options. Because to her, a relationship is nothing but a business move and she wants to be in total control over the relationship. You know, I bet you she tells all her friends that she's looking for a real man, yet she's wearing this mask, she has this wig on, she has this fake persona that she displays online. So how could you be this fake but yet want a real man? But the only thing that matters to a person like this is her following, the amount of views she gets, the amount of subs that she gets, and she's overworking herself, which explains the reason why she has to wear makeup all the time. Like, she's putting on a mask just to cook food. She's afraid of walking in front of a mirror in her own house because she's afraid of catching the real her. She's afraid of her own reflection. She needs to project this online persona in real life. And her soul is slowly evaporating. You can see it in her eyes. They're very, they're very hollow and empty because she's whoring herself for these views. This is the only reason why she gets up in the morning is to make these videos because she knows that she'll never procreate. She knows that she'll never pass on her genes, so she wants to pass on her digital genes. I can tell that she's really educated in business. She knows what customers want. She knows what people want to see. So this is why she's always wearing makeup. This is why She's always opening up her mouth and shoving things in her mouth because men are seeing this as a modern day form of uh, pornography and they're imagining themselves being that food. And with all that said, my conclusion is that this is nothing but glorified bulimia. I mean, just look at her. She's, spe she's spending the whole day cooking and she's not even a chef. And you can tell a lot about a woman who has a lot of gay friends. That, that just means that she is a tease, that she just wants male attention. She, she's the type of girl who, if you ask her out, she'll try to invite all her friends to go uh, with you guys. Just so that when you try to make your move, uh, her friends can just cock block you all night. You know, a typical uh, beta males fall for this. So, And this is what she's trying to attract, just beta males who don't have any options, who think that a common is going to get them a date. And women who lack a sexual life typically fall into binge eating because they want that f fulfilling, penetrating feeling inside of them because these are all comfort foods that she's eating. They all stimulate the brain to produce uh, dopamine. And these are the same chemicals that, the, that they produce during uh, intercourse. So basically, we're watching some insecure, dumb whore fuck herself on camera. And if you're a beta male looking for a date on this platform, if you think that a comment or a like is going to get you laid, you should be ashamed of yourself. You deserve what you get. You deserve to get with a woman like this who's going to cheat on you with a fucking alpha male badass who doesn't give a fuck. 
you deserve to go on a date with a woman like this while she brings her fucking guy friends and while you fucking sit in the background watching her have a good time. Yeah, that's right. You fucking brought it upon yourself, you fucking cuck. You have no respect for yourself, which is why you fucking sit behind a desk typing these fucking long-winded paragraphs thinking you're going to fucking touch th these bitches' hearts. You're a fool. Ah, uh, you know what? Um... It looks like we're not clicking, but why don't you go ahead and click that like button?